Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Good morning, welcome you all to this continued class on the EPR spectroscopy, wherein we have been working on the organic and inorganic kind of a systems, the EPR spectra to structure, from structure to spectra. Draw your attention back to this particular slide where it stopped in the previous class and let us look at that. We looked at the NH2 radical, we looked at the trifluoromethyl nitroxide radical. Let us look at this uh, pyrazine anion. So, in this case, you have the two nitrogens, whatever this the, the electron can spend and all this. So, there are four equivalent uh, hydrogens and two equivalent nitrogens. So, two equivalent nitrogens will give you correspondingly 2 into 2 into 1 plus 1. So, that will be 5 and the four uh, the hydrogens will also give uh, 5. So, you will get the 5 by 5 and since they are 5 into 5 that will be uh, basically five, 5 lines, so 25 lines. So, the reason why you do not get a set of 5 and another set of 5 here is because there is a overlap of their the coupling constant. So, the coupling constant is together and some of the lines may have overlap. If you start counting, you will see this either is 25 or lower because some of the lines may have overlap. So, you can see 1 here, 2 here, 3, 4, 5, 6, somewhere 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 you can see and there are some overlaps are there. So, totally you get a 25 5 to 5 by 5 25 line spectra, but you do not get like the earlier one like the other ones. The reason is that uh, the coupling constants are closer therefore, there is an overlap of that. Okay. Uh, Let us look at this uh, anion uh, nitrogen again. This will have 1, 2, 3, 4 nitrogens. So, 2 into 4 into 1 into 1, 8 uh, plus 1, 9 lines. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 sets. Perfect. How many hydrogens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is 4 means 5 lines. Each one should be 5 lines. You do not see here, but you, if you see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you can see that in the central ones. So, therefore, that is the, the 9 by 5 uh, spectrum. So, here you get each uh, uh, set the 9 sets and each set will be the 5 that you can see. Now, you look at uh, another example here this particular the molecule in that make the radical and an radical and that is where uh, you find there are uh, the 2 nitrogens are there 2 into 2 into 1 plus 1 that will be 5. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the electron spends maximum time at these nitrogen centers very little at all because there is no much the resonance kind of a structure if it does not spend here. Even if it spends here if it has to the have interaction with the methyl it should be here. So, the spin density of the unpaired spin density at this methyl will be almost 0. So, that is why you are not finding any further coupling at all. So, you just will find only that. So, but on the other hand if if this itself has got a hydrogen you might have had a small level of the connectivity or uh, the splitting part of it. So, I think we have looked at uh, examples of this. Let us look at some more this is uh, you take the ammonium perchlorate and subject it to gamma ray radiation energy. So, you get this particular spectrum and this spectrum if you try to fit with it. So, you will find sets of connectivity. So, this is basically giving the ammonium radical, ammonia radical, ammonia based radical, which means you have 1 nitrogen and 3 hydrogens. So, this is uh, 2 into 1 into 1 plus 1, that is 3. This is 3, 2 into 3 into half plus 1, and that is 4 lines. So, you can see one of the set as the C A 
three lines and these three lines are coming from this whole spectrum is refitted using this one. So, there are totally 12 lines you can see that expected. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But what you are finding here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, they are very close by. So, you can refer this one as this one, two as this one, three as this one. You can calculate your A value. So, the a, one of the A values is that the 18 point one uh, gauss value in that okay so you can have first three i is three n n uh, there's one nitrogen i is equal to one therefore number of lines is three two into one into one plus one that is three lines and these are further each one of these is further split into four lines by the hydrogen so that is a set of this one labeled as three labeled as six and labeled as nine that comes from one set actually so that means this one here and uh, uh, this uh, the other one is uh, 6. So, this one, so 1, this one, and uh, this first one, and the third one. So, this one, and the third one, and this one, and that one together becomes one set. Similarly, you have to totally three sets. So, 3 into uh, 4, totally 12 lines. And since their value is closer, uh, the the iso uh, the coupling constant is closer therefore you have a overlap of all this but still the individually the lines are seen but they are close by they are not too much overlaid to get the number of lines and so therefore this spectrum can be fitted to a radical of ammonia radical on that so the three sets are given here one three six nine is one set two five eight eleven is one other set four seven ten twelve is another set totally there are three sets coming from each one of that set is coming from this and this one is further by hydrogen coupling. Now, let us say you take uh, a naphthalene and then uh, treat with the potassium metal and you will get uh, naphthalide anion and that electron unpaired density will uh, you know move across all that. So, you have a 1, 4, 5, 8 they are one type alpha type. 2, 3, 7, 6 or 6, 7 there will be another type beta type. So, both are there, but still their coupling constant difference is small that is why you will find a difference difference is small not the coupling constant is small. So, then you have uh, essentially the so that is 1 is n is equal to 4 is 5 lines another set of n is equal to 4 5 lines. So, together you will find 5 by 5 lines. So, you can see that all that is, is shown over there correspondingly they are labeled, but it is not very important. So, you can see all that uh, spectra you can see it and count there will be close to 25 or maybe one or two or less means there must be some kind of a overlap if at all or they are buried under the noise kind of thing. Okay? I hope you are able to see that how that is you can see uh, the 5 uh, getting 1, 2, 3, uh, 3, 4, 5 and each 5 is further split into those things and that is what you are seeing. So, 5 by 5 spectrum and then you have all those. So, this is one set and there is another set. So, this set some of them are lines are here, this is another set, this is another set and this is in between. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sets and the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that 5 by 5. So, there is a overlap of the things cross. Okay. So, pentate of a pentate, so and they are all overlapped. Let us look at some inorganic uh, coordination chemistry based. So, you have an example here the copper complex. So, in this case, the copper complex is uh, attached with uh, O and attached with N with, uh, with carbon. There is a hydrogen and here, okay. Okay, salicylidine kind of thing. And again, this side you will have oxygen and nitrogen, same kind of thing. So, nitrogen CH and same kind of thing, okay. So, so it is a 2, that is why it is written Cu by 2, in other words, Cu with the ligand twice, okay. So, you can see that. Yeah. And uh, when it comes to this, you should not forget that the metal all transition elements have got different I values and these are will be always given to you. 
and the one which has got a i non zero with a higher abundance and if there are more than one you should have to take all of them if there is only one type then you need to take one here in case of copper the i value for copper is uh, is equal to 3 over 2 so therefore first you will have 2 into one only one copper there are not two coppers only one copper two ligands 2 into 1 into 3 over 2 plus 1 uh, that will be four sets and now this is further coupled with the nitrogen and uh, further coupled with the hydrogen here okay so the electron is here not on this earlier what we were seeing is we were seeing the electron on the organic moiety but now we are looking at the unpaired electron spin is here so they can interact easily here to some extent here very little on that so you will see there will be a little perturbation of that that's why the spectra looks a little bit fuzzy but if you take up to that it's good enough so now you have these four lines that is a major because the electron is residing in the copper so please look at the uh, spectrum in this slide so one set the other set the third and fourth that's coming from the copper splitting and in each of that the nitrogen and also nitrogen has got another hydrogen i missed that so nitrogen has got another hydrogen so there is one hydrogen here there is another hydrogen here also so the nitrogen there are two nitrogens so the 2 into 2 into 1 nitrogen spin is 1 so that is 4 5 lines you will get and these two hydrogens will be actually speaking different but their difference in the coupling is small so your difference is small so you can take them as if they are equivalent so therefore that will be 2 so that will be 2 into 2 into half plus 1 that will be 3 lines so you have a set of 4 set of 5 set of 3 there may be a little bit of coupling coming from that and that's why you are seeing all these lines so the 4 set of 4 okay and uh, this uh, uh, 3 5 into 3 this 15 lines will be coming within this set okay and there is something coming out also because of the electron spin has some you know spending on this then uh, the equivalence is not so much between the both the hydrogens here that's why you find but anyhow anyway, you can look at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so you find less than 15 but there is 11 and there are some lines that which are acting over here and there may be some overlap of all this so that overlap is coming because of the inequivalence of these two and there may be a little spin density on that as well so and there will be spin density on oxygen but oxygen doesn't have any i value so therefore you don't take any of these so mainly if you explain this part this hydrogen this hydrogen and this copper and nitrogen that's good enough so you can make okay so let us look at another example of the inorganic type i uh, hope uh, that is fine I think you got the I value for copper, I value for N is equal to 1, I value for hydrogen is half, etc. These are the things which will work. Now, this is a compound of uh, the cobalt 3CO9 SE, uh, okay, of a single crystal of FeCO2CO9 SE. So, this is the main structure which is non uh, paramagnetic, and into this, a paramagnetic CO3CO9 SE is doped okay and what is the spectrum you're getting here the spectrum you're getting here is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so uh, it maybe it's around 22 kind of a hyperfine lines are found at this so what is the where does this electron spin stands because this is the paramagnetic this is not paramagnetic so that means that one un, uh, additional the uh, cobalt will have. So the cobalt I is 7 over 2, cobalt I is 7 over 2. Here I value for cobalt is 7 over 2. And there are three such cobalts are there present in that molecule. They could be equal, and that's why you're getting one single together spectrum. So based on that, you can say that the equal 2 into 3. 3 cobalts by 7 by 2 plus 1, so that is 21 plus 1, 22 lines. Now that's what exactly you're getting. So they are all equivalent. Now, so that means if you wanted to make this particular structure, there you need to make a cobalt 
and probably a cobalt, probably a cobalt here, and these are some kind of an equivalent thing. And on each, you have three carbonyls, and then you have over that, you have your selenium interacting. So, equivalent kind of thing. And the spin is coming from the electron is on this cobalt one odd electron is being present. So, that will be the structure of that. Not cobalt, that is CO. This is CO. Okay. So, that is CO3, CO9, SE. CO3, cobalt 3, uh, CO9 ligands. And since you get an isotropic kind of a spectrum, so you get the, your structure would be uh, this. So, they are all equal. The electron density is spent on all this, and uh, the selenium will not look at differently. Otherwise, you would have had some uh, anisotropy. Since there is no anisotropy and you get one single, therefore, that is explained as that. Okay, let us look at another example of the glycolate vanadium. So, vanadium I is uh, so again 61 V uh, I is 7 over 2 again here, and then this is connected with uh, the this is like this V O and uh, so this is your glycolate and this is your glycolate and this is each one one more proton is last glycolate so that means we 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 6 minus so this should be vanadium 4 plus because overall is 2 minus okay and now so this you get a isotropic kind of a, a spectrum so this is nothing but 2 into 1 into 7 by 2 plus 1 so that is 8 lines and the, what you find is exactly the 8 line spectrum 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 line spectrum straightforward. So, this is a complex and that is where vanadium is present. So, vanadium is in the in one electron uh, state that is the D1. So, vanadium 4 plus is D1 state. So, therefore, that is what where you get the EPR spectrum. Now, look at uh, another example here. Uh, vanadyl dithiophosphonate the structure is already shown here. So, the vanadium uh, center again vanadyl, the vanadyl is vanadium 4, vanadium 4 is D1 and this is connected with the sulfur, sulfur you do not need to take uh, anything because the I the spin ones are uh, low. So, therefore, you can uh, probably ignore in that and then you take the phosphorus, there may be uh, one type of uh, sulfur may be giving that yes that is then the phosphorus. So, phosphorus is high abundance and then half uh, and then these four uh, the sulfurs. One of the sulfur has got the I think 3 over 2 or something you can look into the. So, if you look at that particular uh, kind of a thing then you can see the first one is that you have the I is equal to 7 over 2 that will give you the 8 lines and if you take uh, the phosphorus alone uh, leaving the sulfur 2 equivalent phosphorus. Uh, 2 into 2 into half plus 1 is also very high abundance. So, that will be giving 3. So, therefore, you, you will have totally 8 into 3 24. There may be from sulfur, but that will be probably not so, so much you will find. So, you can see the set 1, set 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and that is coming from the vanadium and each of this is 3 because coming from the 2 phosphorus, 2 phosphorus I is equal to half yes you do not see much anything from the sulfur at all. So, this is coming from the vanadium and this is coming from 2 phosphorus and this is the total spectrum and that one is experimental other is uh, lower is simulated because you simulate to get the corresponding data for that coupling constants. Okay, one other example where you have a strongly coupled case and we know that strongly coupled case that 2 s plus 1 will further split into the things and this is taken uh, to be have a strongly coupled you should have a multiple electron unpaid electrons on the same metal on the same system here same metal. So, this is a manganese complex manganese dope manganese 2 plus dope. So, this is a D 5 system manganese uh, 2 plus is a D 5 system and this is a uh, high spin. So, all the 5 spins are there and 
and that is where you will get the, the 6 s ground state of uh, that. Now, even in the ground state, because the electrons are coupled, they will split into, please have a look at this uh, slide I am showing, then you get into 3 parts. When you put into the actual magnetic field, here this is even without magnetic field, this is called 0 field splitting. In the 0 field itself, you will see the 3 sets, the plus or minus half, plus or minus 3 over 2, plus or minus 5 over 2, then these will become further. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sets, that is what you expect, 2 into 5 by 2 plus 1, that is where the thing is. In each of this, you have the lines, so that means you can have a transition from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, here to here, here to here because the delta m l should be 0. So, that means totally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, you can see 5 sets, set 1, set 2, set 3, set 4, set 5. In each one, you have these further. Okay? So, the 6 transitions coming up uh, among themselves. So, that is where you would see. So, you have the i is equal to 5 over 2. So, first you have a 5 uh, lines coming over here as a hypofine and then you have the further 5 over 2. Each of one is further split by 5 over 2 because manganese. So, this is uh, one is because of the, the strongly coupled. So, the strongly coupled 5 electrons here in this case will give the 5 lines that you got. So, that 5 lines you got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 sets rather and each of these further coupled with, uh, with the manganese. Uh, so, the manganese 2 plus i uh, for anything i will be the same. This will be uh, manganese is uh, 5 over 2. So, therefore, uh, 2 into 1 into 5 over 2 plus 1 that is 6 lines. So, each one is getting into 6 lines and you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 etcetera. So, so even we have looked at example of even strongly coupled system as well. Okay? So, I hope you uh, understand all that we have done. I hope I have done along with you. Just I want to bring to your notice you can always uh, internet search and see what kind of a probes are used because many times they are molecular system in biological they are not uh, uh, paramagnetic, they are not uh, spins. Therefore, you add a spin uh, containing molecule to get the EPR spectrum and how that EPR spectrum changes from the surrounding that is how you probe the structure of those. So, here an oxide and this one will have spin density here very little. So, you can ignore the here because there are no hydrogens also only carbons are there. So, only nitrogen, nitrogen is n is equal to 1. So, 3 lines. Now, how these 3 lines will change in the medium in terms of their broadness, in terms of their resolution and all these kinds of things in the intensities you can follow and the time scales you can follow and then explain the medium how it is changing. Another probe which is shown here which is somewhat truncated version of that one previous one di tertiary butyl nitroxide radical here you can see. Again you will expect maximum coupling only with the N not so much because there is no hydrogen here uh, because this is all methyl. So, hydrogens are far away. So, you will not expect much of a spin density at the at this carbon. So, you will find if at all very little here but not here at all. So, spin density will be low. So, therefore, you would not find. So, you, as I mentioned to you earlier that you can see this spectrum is given at 3 concentrations. The top spectrum is given at minus 10 power minus 4 molar, 10 power minus 2 molar, 10 power minus 1 molar. So, you see a very sharp well resolved a little bit broad, but reasonably resolved completely broad and overlaid. And so, therefore, that means whether in the medium these molecules are joining together or they are separated all these things. So, the all these things are called probes. So, you can put into various systems and study systems. Sometimes you require yeah. So, you have also the uh, spin probes of this kind uh, they can be uh, in the spin if they get protonated they go back. So, that means EPR will be silent here EPR will be active here and when it is active it will be 3 lines and when it is silent obviously, there is no line at all. So, the oxidation uh, protonation reduction all these kinds of things will change. So, in some system where you have put this particular thing if there is some oxidation occurs you may expect this in biological system there are some kind of things happen. So, you can 
you can probe the reactions that are going on in the biological systems very happily into that. So, protonation things, oxidation reduction kind of things etc. Sometimes you require very long lived and non toxic kind of a radicals organic and you can see the one triphenyl methyl radical used these can be used in the sensors. So, physiologically important parameters like pH, oxygen concentration these radicals should not get affected chemically, but they should start probing the things. So, per substituted triphenyl methyl radicals could meet these requirements. So, if you can make the substitution on, on all these things that will become a good kind of a thing. So, you can use in variety of systems. So, now you uh, seen that in the previous class and this class I worked along with you and taken you with uh, full interpretation of each of the spectrum and the structure connectivity. So, the last uh, for any topic, uh, uh, but not the least that I always bring is the I wanted you to do your, your knowledge enhancement by how one can make by extended practice. So, and this is the exercise. So, what you do is in all these things solve the EPO spectra based on this using uh, only the nuclear I value of the corresponding transition metal, if it is transition metal is there and the values are available in the slides, values are available in the literature, in the internet search and the ligating nitrogen. So, there are ligations nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur. So, you can ignore for sulfur, oxygen, but you cannot ignore for nitrogen. So, that is where you need to look at that. So, nitrogen once you take the coupling super hyperfine coupling. Now, using those kinds of things let us see for nitrogen n is equal to 1. For the uh, metal you have to see whichever metal it is. I have already worked out here in the class in the slides we have worked out nitrogen as copper we have worked out vanadium we have worked out uh, and nickel we have worked out uh, iron many things have been seen then. So, you can follow those and they are available otherwise. Work out and show the EPR spectra 1 4 coordinated copper En OAC twice En 1 ethylene diamine. So, this is the one which you have here I think you should be able to get that. So, this is copper. So, ethylene diamine and OAC OAC twice. So, this is neutral this is so minus 1 2 plus that is neutral only 2 plus can give the EPR spectrum not the 1 plus 1 plus is a D 10 system. So, only 2 plus can give this is a D 9 system. So, copper 2 and this is how one finds out in the reaction medium whether the copper that is formed is a copper 1 or copper 2 from the EPR presence EPR silence that is out of thing, but contextual that is why I am telling. And another complex I have given copper uh, with both uh, with ethylene diamine and this is uh, 2 plus. So, these two are 4 coordinated and another 6 coordinated ok. So, 1 En, 1 En, 1 En ethylene diamine and this. Now, what I wanted is you please work out the spectrum for each of these compare each of those and then try to find commonality differences uh, and then tell how one can differentiate this ok. Uh, similarly, work out and show EPR spectra for the 5 coordinated uh, vivo ACAC twice ACAC is acetyl acetonoiteo. So, that you need to understand that I am sure you will I already shown you some examples for vanadyl uh, my thing. So, vanadyl ACAC will come as this ACAC is not uh, uh, the 2 minus 1 it is the 1 minus thing. So, 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 plus. So, this is vanadium 4. So, that is the D 1 system. So, you can see how the spectrum of this astral astronato. Assuming that uh, the following one is to 1 EDTA 3 minus uh, EDTA 3 minus M 3 plus. So, that means neutral complex and on they are all octahedral that is also given uh, they are all low spin. So, work out and show EPR spectra and compare and explain how does that differ is same you just put into one ligand 6 coordination is given the low spin is given for iron 3 plus for nickel 3 plus and correspondingly work for the EPR spectra. The last one I have given, but you can work out many things from by looking at the literature. 
work out and show and explain the high resolution ESR spectra the following organic ones or radicals. Use appropriate I values as required when you work out the spectra. Tertiary butyl radical, benzene anion radical, pyridine anion radical, ortho meta, not metal, this is meta, and para dibromobenzene anion radicals and compare this three spectra as how you can differentiate. How you can differentiate the ortho versus meta versus para and then you can make uh, try to do that. So I think we have gone through quite thorough in this. About three classes I have gone through the uh, explaining the platform, building the platform, explaining the things. And the two classes fully I worked out each problem for organic, inorganic coordination, everything of that. And then uh, we uh, left you with uh, uh, doing some more practice kind of a, a things. Good luck for you with the, with the EPR uh, spectra. So please do uh, do some kind of a uh, exercise so that uh, you will not forget how the spectra are emerging. The spectra to compound, the compound to spectra. The structure to spectra, spectra to structure. Thank you very much.